morning guys. We have just woken up after a good night's sleep at the Fairmont in Whistler. And me and Raya are about to head out for some golf lessons. I've literally never played golf in my life. This is Bree and Zoe. They're hanging out with us today. Where should I go? I'm jump to front. I literally know nothing about golf. Yeah, that's Perfect. We're... That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Check this out guys. This is where bears sharpen their claws. Yeah, they're all like there. So me and Raya are gonna get a lesson. Yeah. Yeah, bend the knees, we're gonna just oh, just make your posture nice. The club you're tall, so these are tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just want the club to kind of sit. Those things are really short. Yeah, well you're pretty tall. So. <laughs> now all you're gonna try and do is make a semicircle. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yay. Right. Sweet. Let's hit a couple more. Oh. oh. Should have quit on the first. <laughs> oh. Huh. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll just don't know. Nice. Excellent. Nice. Almost. That sounded good. Yeah. It's still just. It just went along the ground, yeah. Nice! Oh, that's the yeah. one! Yay! Good job! That was surprisingly difficult. Sweet. Nice. Sweet. Whoa! Second go! Ah, yeah! Oh, yeah. Honestly, looking at it from the outside, it looks like it's like slow and boring, but you totally get an adrenaline rush when you hit that ball. Right? Did yeah, you get that? Yeah, yeah. And you were killing it as well. You smacked it twice with that big duck club. <laughs> Still trying to spot bears. Is there some kind of mating call we can do to attract <laughs> the bears? No, I haven't figured that one out yet. <laughs> we just get out there and crawl around. So oh, is there, is there coffee up there? Yeah, there is. Did you want one? Oh, yeah. I'd love a coffee. Let's grab a coffee. Oh, great. I like golf even more now. <laughs> Thanks for the tour. Um, my pleasure, yeah. I hope yeah. you enjoyed it. Nice yeah, to meet you. absolutely. Nice to meet you. Hopefully you had some fun with golf there. Yeah. How are we doing? Ryan. Good. Hey, Ryan. Louis. Louis, nice to meet you. Ryan. Ryan, nice to meet you. We have just arrived at Lost Lake. We're going to go out on a canoe. This is Ryan. He's going to be taking us out. You looking forward to going on the canoe? Yeah. If you want, you can hop in and you want to sit up, up front. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh crap, I've got all my lenses in here. No, can we just, yeah, sorry, can we just run back? Is it, is it not? Sorry. Is it not easier just to go two? We did a canoe like this with if two of us. I love fresh mountain air. I guess growing up in like a town and being around cities, you kind of don't fully know what fresh air really feels like entering your lungs. But when you come up to places like this, I love it. Is this a duck? What is this? Flow like water. Flow like water. Flow like 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 water. Flow like 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 So we just had some lunch and we're now going on a hike to a train wreck which is out in the forest somewhere. I don't know anything about it yet but we'll find out. What did you say the name of this river is? It's the Chakamas River. Chakamas River. Chakamas River. Whoa! That is a serious waterfall. Guys, check how fast flowing this river is. Apparently 
many people kayak down here? Don't think I'll be doing that. I was tempted to walk across this log to get to the other side to get some photos, but you do not want to fall off that. That would be very sketchy. I love the colour of the water here. I think it's to do with the minerals in the glacier that like wash down, but it's just so bright turquoise. I'm gonna walk down to where all these logs have washed down the river. Check out this. Are they tasty? So good. Super sweet. Guys, unless you know what you're picking, you shouldn't eat wild berries. There you go. Huckleberries, apparently. Look at the red huckleberries. They come in red ends and they're red ends. Mmm. Yeah, I like them. I can't get over how good the blueberries are. seeing the raw power of nature. Can't believe water can move these massive logs. These must weigh tons. It just like picks them up like they're nothing and just transports them somewhere else and dumps them. We're just arriving at the train wreck. What I've learned about it is that this happened in the 50s. The driver came around the corner too fast so the railway tracks are just up there. Came around this corner too fast and uh, yeah, rolled some carriages. Luckily, they were just cargo carriages and no one was injured, which is amazing. And then they just salvaged what they could off them and left them just to, I guess, just chill here in the woods. How nuts is this? I just can't believe how far they flew. Like, yeah. insane. <laughs> Imagine just like going for a hike and then just seeing these yeah, things flying through the car. Whoa. <laughs> this is nuts. It's so close to falling in the river down there as well. Look how mangled this bottom section is. Okay, so we're going in. There, and then yeah, you just step right up. Whoa, this metal is crumpled. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually a big fan of graffiti, like street art. Mainly like graphic, like artwork, rather than, I'm not a massive fan of just tagging stuff. So I've climbed right to the top of the wreck. This is, I think this is the best view. Check that out. Well, I can feel the train moving. I like that this has been turned into artwork. Something that was just like dumped. And now it's like a tourist attraction. Whoa, that's quite a big drop. So if you yep. ride along here. Start here. Straight up here. <laughs> Would you ride it? No. <laughs> Not this kid, no. This is out of my limits. So apparently this is an active train track and they try and discourage people from walking on the actual track. Um, so we're gonna take a different route. And then on the other side, they're building a little suspension bridge and they're gonna try and encourage everyone to walk in that way. Good idea. I'm going to call the bears. <laughs> that is not the sound they make. No, wait, wait, wait. 
No, I think you should just give them these. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might attract some animals with a mating call, though. <laughs> or just scare everyone away. Mmm. Mmm, raspberries. <laughs> right, we're heading back. I'm gonna go and get some snacks. I think, I think a coffee as well would be nice. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks for the little tour, Ryan. No problem. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah, it's good fun. Hey mate, okay. just popping into the gold lounge to get a coffee and some snacks. Oh, I need a coffee. Okay. We've just been napping in our room. It's now dinner time. We've come down to the wildflower. We're a little bit late for our table booking. <laughs> Dinner is served. Cheers, Raya. Cheers. To a fun day. Exploring Whistler. Guys, we just got candy floss, a massive bowl of candy floss. Americans call it cotton candy. I guess Canadians do too. But in England, candy floss. I made a swan. <laughs> Thank you. It's lovely. You? Thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh. We've just finished a delicious dinner. Again today, guys, I've been partnering with Fairmont Hotels. Uh, it's actually been exactly what I've needed after a month of pretty much non-stop traveling around and road tripping. Uh, we've been treated to the Fairmont Gold Experience, which means we've had access to this lounge all day to go and get coffee and snacks and just have somewhere to chill. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been cool learning to play a bit of golf. It's the first time I've been out on a, a golf course and uh, it's pretty beautiful here. And then going to check out the train wreck, going for a hike. Um, all of it's been organised by the what they call the Fairmont's Choose Your Moment, which uh, if you guys ever visit the Fairmont Chateau of Whistler, um, you can check out everything below, see some of the other cool things you can do. Tomorrow we are going to be doing some more activities. We're doing a thing called Peak to Peak, which is this like alpine a like super high open air gondola thing, which I'm excited about. And we're also hopefully in the afternoon going to be meeting up with Bradley again and doing some more helicopter tours. Oh, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.